Okay, hello everybody in Chiang Mai. I, I wish I was there with you at this Creative City Forum in, 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 in Asia. For Asia. Um, yes, what I, what I find really interesting about what you're doing is, is the creative city in Asia a different sort of creative city from one in Europe or America or South America or, or, or Africa? And I think what's really important is to work out what is the distinctive form of being a creative city that is right for Asian cities, that goes with the grain of your culture and the possibilities that you have. But I do think there are some qualities that are the same wherever we are, even though there is cultural difference. And I've been doing a lot of measuring the pulse of cities, their creative ecology, if I can call it that. And one of the key factors is really the level of openness. One has to be, in general, open. If one's closed, minded, it's unlikely to be a creative place. And then I think some of the big features are really how you nurture creativity, bring it up, then how you enable and support it. And here what's very important, I really think, is the political framework. What's the regulations and incentive regime? Is it sort of negative and controlling or enabling possibilities? And then there's really that question which you're dealing with, is how do you harness that? How do you bring it together? How's the communication in the city? Are people allowed to be entrepreneurial? Is that guided in a good way? But finally, a creative city actually has to feel like a creative city in the lived experience, in the way it's designed, the public spaces and so on. Anyway, I'm sure you're going to be discussing many of those types of things. But for me, also quite important is that we see creativity as broad. There can be creative bureaucrats, creative social entrepreneurs, creative artists, creative business people, and many others. Anyway, the best of luck. Thank you.